Hi, this is Uli from Skyraider. Today we will have a look at the Doppler frequency and we will make it visible with the help of the fast Fourier transform. We will track the movements of my colleague Iman with our 8 GHz pulse radar and we'll do all the signal transformation in real time together with free scopes. Enjoy and let's start. Now let's get the data. First we connect to the radar with a signal receiver. Then we fetch the raw data. Then we can enhance the signal a bit before working with it. Here in my case I suppress the source. You saw in previous videos how to do that. Then I clean the signal from noise. I do that with CFAR. And now I go to the burst. The burst is an interesting device because it's a device that turns my vector data, you know, rated data is vector data which has uh, the information of all the range cells. It turns that into uh, um, a matrix, into an array because we fetch several sweeps and arrange them in an array. You've got on one dimension you've got the range cells, on the other you've got the time, you know, the various uh, sweeps that we um, um, took. And this can be then transferred from the time uh, domain into the frequency domain with the FFT. Then that is now made visible with the B scope. And now let's have a look at the B scope. You see my colleague Iman moving away from the radar source, standing still, and coming back. When he comes back, you see his movements on the upper side when he stands still on the middle line and when he uh, distances himself from the source you see it in the lower part. You know this is the reflection that you get of the Doppler frequency with the help of the fast Fourier transform. You know when you approach, approach the frequencies are compressed when you move away from the source they get longer and you can see that here perfectly clear with that B scope in Skywriter's free scopes. Now Iman is even making the signal stronger. You see that he takes a very strong, uh, strong uh, um, RCS uh, um, metal reflector, and he just moves that away and closer to the ray. You see that circles of that little uh, ball that is uh, uh, flying around, you know, um, above and below the zero speed line. Now he's moving again. In person you see the reflection is smaller of course because his RCS is smaller. This was today's video. You will see much more on our website in the blog section when you look at uh, FFT you see detailed explanation how it works. You see the math behind it if you want it. But you can also approach it in a more hands-on way with our radar system and tree scopes. Fully understand what is happening. Fully understand how to optimize a radar block diagram. And eventually also, I'm sure, understanding the math behind because once you've internalized, once you get a feeling of what is happening, the math is just the language that describes what you already know. Don't be afraid come to our website and uh, if you're an academy, if you're a university, order the Sky Raider 8 GHz Pulse Raider because it's more economical that you, than you think and you can connect 20, 30, 40, 50 students concurrently who work on the raw data and who learn much faster than you ever thought it would be possible. See you at skyraider.com. Talk to you soon. Yours, Dr. Ulrich Scholten from Skyraider.